in a game reserve somewhere in South Africa. Another rhino has just been shot and killed. The poachers are sophisticated modern-day hunters, equipped with high-tech weapons. The reality is that 80% of the world's population is in South Africa, and over the last couple of years it has attracted poachers from all over the world. At the forefront of the fight against the scourge in South Africa is Environmental Minister Edna Mulewa. The attraction for poachers lies in the value of the horn and not in the animal itself. Today rhino horn will get you more money on the black market than precious metals, like gold. Ounce for ounce, rhino horn wins. Private rhino owners who come across the carcasses daily now, despite having up security, feel defeated and helpless. So it's easy for a poacher to, to, to catch a rhino with a snare. They use a, a steel cable. International syndicates working for high price paying businessmen have infiltrated the country, and the number of rhinos poached so far this year has stopped all the figures of previous years. The rhino are literally being slaughtered, and every province in the country is targeted. The Hawks, the country's primary crime investigations unit, is now also involved in investigating what has now become a very lucrative trade. Paul Ramaloko speaks for the Hawks. We have a dedicated team uh, which is uh, responsible for responding to activities such as this. We are saying to uh, all rhino owners that uh, they have nothing to fear. We are working around the clock to try and uh, identify the culprits and obviously bring them to book. The Kruger National Park is bearing the brunt with the majority of poachings recorded there, mainly because of its porous border with Mozambique. While wanting to deal with the issue of poachers from that country, South Africa is also careful about its diplomatic relations with its neighbour. Sandparks has conceded that they are worried, with the challenge of covering almost two million hectares. Most poachers only have a few minutes before making off with their loot, and the attack on a rhino is executed in a hurry. Many times it's too late to even try saving the animal, which is generally found with its horn gruesomely hacked off. The numbers are staggering and it's left activists in the country helpless and angry. This concern by activists is echoed by environmental affairs. Albi Modise, who speaks for the department, says this fight should be taken up by every citizen. Honestly, South Africans have got a right to, be, to feel worried, to be concerned that um, we, we are losing more rhinos. I mean, you know, the, the numbers are saying to us now that the, the rhino, rhino population you know, the rhino, the rhino that we've lost to date since the beginning of the year is actually more than what we lost by the end of last year. So if you look at the stats over the years, the numbers have been increasing. So they have every reason to be concerned.